Uy, 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 ¿a dónde vas? Joder, no puedo ni ir ni por aquí y... Ahora sí. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. No. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. ¿Por qué? No ¿Por qué no puede ver? No. Clem, no puedo respirar. No puedo respirar. Pero déjala. Oh, no, no, no vayas a la puerta. No. No, ni de coña. Cierra, eso sí. No, ¿por qué? Hola ahí. ¿Quién eres? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Ah, el malote. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Just me and and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen them. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. En realidad, nada. Oye, vale que estemos Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. So the bonnet. Just passing through or you've been here a while. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hmm. Hell, I just got here and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. How long have you been there? Been there for a good while now. Really? Where does this go? Uh... Tiene un arma. Con un cuchillo no podemos hacer nada. Está claro. Y no parece que nos quiera hacer daño, ¿no? Solo quiere saber... ¿Dónde está la gente? I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? <laughs> Mi barriga. Oye, tío. En serio, de, de, deja de tomarte esas confianzas. 
I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Preocúpate, chaval. Señor, váyase de mi casa, señor. Esto es allanamiento de morada. Le puedo denunciar. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. No me jodas. Ah. No me digas que es una foto. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Pues nada, a cerrar la puerta. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? <laughs> Probably. A, a picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. Whoa, whoa. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. 
We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Vaya. Yeah. There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Seguid el rastro de sangre. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Exacto. Anyone see him? Con cuidado. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. You keep an eye on him for me, would you? You... sure you still want to come with us? Look. I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well then, welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Cinco días después. <laughs> 